Good morning, my SS1 students. We have agricultural science now, and my name is Alfred Nuba, your agri science teacher. Today, in week two, agricultural science, the first the, the topic there is farm machinery. Before now, we have looked at sources of farm power, and you will remember that one of them is mechanical power. Now we are required to look at the machines that are used on the farm in order to ease the work of the farmer and save time. So what is farm machinery? Farm machinery can be defined as all the mechanical devices and implements that are used on the farm to make the work easier and faster for the farmer. Let me take that again. Farm machinery can be defined as all the machines and implements and devices that are used on the farm to make the work easier and faster for the farmer. Actually to remove drudgery that is tiredness from the farmer and prolong his lifespan. So that is farm machinery. What are examples of farm machines that we have. Examples of farm machines include the tractor, the incubator, the milking machine, the sheller, the grinder, the tree puller, and the bulldozer. These are called farm machines. These are examples of the farm machines that we have. What you need to know about the machines again is how to maintain them. There are different types of maintenance classified into two, daily maintenance and periodic maintenance. So the daily maintenance are the things that you do on the machines every day before you take them out to use on the farm. The periodic maintenance are the things that you do on the machine once in a while, maybe two weeks or weekly or monthly or fortnightly. They are not daily maintenance practices. Then we will look at them in more details. Now you have I have a list of farm machines here and implements as well as their functions. You can see that number one, so you have farm machines, implements, and their functions. You have the tractor, it's used for primary tillage and drawing of implements. What are implements? Deep harrow, disc plow, mudboard plow. They, are, they use the tractor to draw them, that is to drag them on the farm. The bulldozer is used for bush clearing, that is number two. Number three is tree puller. It's used for removing of trees on the farm so that the tractor can be used easily. Number four is the incubator. The incubator is used for the hatching, artificial hatching of fertilized eggs. The fifth number there is milking machine. It's used for milking of cows. That is extraction of milk hygienically and uh, medically in a medically standard way from the cow. Number six is the sheller. It's used for shell removal of crops like granules, and uh, pigeon pea and uh, soya beans and uh, beans. Number seven is dryer, is used for drying of farm produce. Number eight is a sprayer, is used for spraying chemicals on the farm, like water, like insecticides, like pesticides, like liquid fertilizer on the farm. Number nine is the harvester. Harvester is used for harvesting of crops. Number 10 is the plow. The plow, this is a primary tillage implement that is attached to the tractor for primary tillage. What is primary tillage? Primary tillage is the first tillage activity in cultivation of the land before harrowing is done, before planting can be done. That's the meaning of primary tillage. The first, the first cultivating practice on the farm. Number 11 is the harrow. The harrow is a secondary tillage implement. It is used after the disc plow have been used. Then the material is spring time cultivator. 
It's also a secondary tillage implement for cultivating the land. You have the ridges. The ridges is an implement that is used for construction of ridges on the farm. Then the planter is used for planting of crops. So these are some of the farm machines and implements as well as their uses or functions on the farm. I have pictures of some of some of the machines and implements. This is a maize sheller. This is a milking machine. This is a disc harrow. This is a tripula. Why this is a disc plow? This is primary tillage implement. This one is secondary tillage implement. You should be able to identify them anywhere you see them all over the world. They are the same. Sure, in the teeth cups, the 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 teeth cups are the devices that are attached to the teeth. That is the tip of the udder of the animal. So this vacuum controller controls the, the pressure that the pressure with which the teeth cups draws milk from the udder of the animal. This is the milk tank where the milk collected by the milking machine is stored temporarily. This is the vacuum pump that increases the pressure in the vacuum controller. Then these are the wheels. This wheel makes it possible for the milking machine to be moved from one place to another or from one farm to another. So you have the vacuum pump, the teeth cups, milk tank, the wheel, the motor. The motor drives the operation of the milking machine. The motor, the vacuum controller, the gauge. So you must be able to remember at least five of these parts anytime you are in an examination situation. Then we come to the tractor. This is diagram of a tractor and its parts. This is the driver's seat where the driver is going to sit and be controlling the machine. This is called big chunky tire. This is very a very, very big tire always found at the rear of the tractor. It facilitates movement. This is the gear lever near the driver's seat where the driver uses the lever to engage different gears for motion to take place this is small front tire the, the the tire in the front is always smaller than the tire at the back because this one is going to carry the weight this is where the disc plow or disc harrow or mud board plow is going to be attached or a trailer so this one is always bigger than this one in the front then the exhaust pipe which expels the carbon monoxide that is generated during combustion in the engine of the tractor. The steering wheel is the device that is used by the, the driver of the tractor to detect the movement and direction of the tractor from one place to another. So you have the small front tire, exhaust pipe, steering wheel, driver's seat, big chunky tire, and gear lever. Now, we come to tractor maintenance. I told you that there is daily maintenance and periodic maintenance. These ones are the operations you carry out every day on the tractor before taking it out. These ones are the ones that you do periodically, maybe weekly, fortnightly, monthly, or every two months. So the daily maintenance includes check the water level in the radiator every day before you take the tractor out. Keep the tractor clean. Keep the tractor clean. Check oil level, check the tire pressure, that is the air in the tire. If it is deflated, you have to inflate it. Inspect the tractor before starting, always inspect it. Check battery, electrolyte, and top it if necessary. That is the liquid in the battery of the tractor that generates electricity for the tractor to move. Adhere strictly, number seven, adhere strictly to the manual or manufacturer's instruction. And then number eight, do not overload or overspeed 
with the tractor. Then the periodic maintenance include one, service at regular intervals, two, replace worn out tires, three, regularly gauge tire pressure. Always check the air in the tire because it will facilitate proper movement. Number four, tighten screws and shields regularly. Every screw and, and shield that is loose, you have to tighten it. Number five, replace worn out or broken parts of the tractor in order to avoid accidents. Number six, adhere strictly to the manufacturer's instruction. Number seven, change oil regularly. That is the engine oil. Number eight, air or oil filter should be changed regularly. Number nine, movable parts should be greased occasionally for easy lubrication. Number 10, always park tractor in a shade, not under the sun. Now, this will help you to develop a maintenance culture for all your machines, even for the rest of your life. I have a live sprayer here. This is called a knapsack sprayer. A knapsack sprayer. It is used for the application of substances in liquid form on the farm. What happens is that the farmer will either use, use it by himself or get somebody to use it to apply it for him. So this is the this is the nozzle, this is the pump, this is the pressure controller. That you use to control the amount of liquid that is going out. Very interesting. It makes farming very, very interesting. So, after you mix the chemical with the water, following the manufacturer's instructions, you put it, you put the chemical inside the tank, and then as you pump, as you pump, as you pump like this, the chemical will be coming out through this nozzle. This nozzle, this nozzle, sorry, this nozzle, so you control the spray in order to achieve uniform and effective coverage of the crops that you want to spray. You can also use it for fumigation of your poultry houses like poultry farm, uh, livestock farm, your and, uh, cattle pen or goat pen. You can use it to fumigate the place before you stock a new stock of animals. Yeah, so this is the knapsack sprayer. When you see the farmer using it, you will see smiling on his face, smiles on his face because he's not using too much energy. You can also use it to spray pesticides. You can also use it for irrigation of gardens when you want to sprinkle water on the farm. refers to all the machines and implements used on the farm to make farm operations easier and faster. Examples of farm machines include the tractor, bulldozer, three puller, milking machine, incubator, etc. Examples of farm implements include disc plow, disc harrow, mudboard plow, rija, etc. There are two types of maintenance of farm machines, namely daily maintenance and periodic maintenance. So that is what we have for this topic. Now I have this classwork for you. Class work today, 27th April 2020. Number one, answer the question. Define the term farm machinery. Two, outline five parts of the tractor and state one function of each. Number three, tabulate two daily and two periodic maintenance of the tractor.
Thank you very much.